Greetings friends, it is I, Riku Khan, and today we have finally returned to Mechanics the Game, the game for RPG Maker. So today we are going to be discussing how to make alternate costumes for characters. Say for an example, the Tales of Games, where you can wear alternate costumes as Xenoblade Chronicles, Final Fantasy XV, Dragon Ball, Xenoverse, Basically most modern games these days where you can customize how your character looks. And this is very, very simple to do. This isn't changing your class, this is only changing your appearance. Now first you're going to need some sprites. Custom sprites of your own with alternate looks. I've already done that. So let's just skip on ahead to the actors and we're going to make a new character. And I shall call him... for it. Derp. I had no idea what else to call him and I didn't feel like it. So let's just go with the basic one right here. Alright, cool. Now what you want to do, based on how many costumes you have, you want to make that many items. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five costumes based on one character, the default and plus four others. So, you want to go to items, and you want to make five items. There we go. First, we're going to call this Derp Default. And let's just pick a simple outfit. There we go. Description. Change the... The outfit of Derp to be in his normal outfit. Now here we're going to make it to a key item so that it looks nice in your inventory. We only want access from the menu and none. Consume no. Now that's just the basic <clears throat> setting. Excuse me. So let's just copy that. Paste it five times. And let's just name them based on what we have for costumes. So, we have one for gown. Okay. And then next we've got... I'm trying to base these off memory, but I just made these like five seconds ago. Uh... All right, let's make a suit one. Suit. And this suit. All right. Desert wear. And lastly, streak. And we can just make it say, fuck clothing. Alright, so that's the easy part. And now we're going to go to the next part. Now, the way as far as I, as far as I can tell, you just need to make five common events in here be his outfit changing. So, we're going to call this one Derp Default. And then change actor graphic. And on here, and there we go. And now just copy and paste that for five for five more times. Alright, so let's make one for his suit. All right. No, not that. There we go. And now let's do his desert wear. Uh huh. And then gown. 
Yeah, these are going to be out of order, but it doesn't really matter as long as you got the common events right. And finally, streak. And there we go. So now with all that done, we just got to go back in here and pretty much just match the common events. This isn't the most advanced thing I've ever done, but it's nice for if you just want to make alternate costumes for your game. I would have loved to have done something like, you know, a class changing system with this, but apparently whenever you change your class, you don't change your skills based on level or something like that. But I'm pretty sure with scripting you can get that done. And there we go. Now we're just going to go into here. Make Derp the main character because we definitely need a guy whose only purpose is to change clothing to save the day. And let's spawn a new treasure chest right here. Make it say Gain Outfits for Derp. And now we just add one of each item to the inventory. Alright, and change it to gown. Suit. Desert wear. And streak. And then, oops, I didn't make the treasure chest event. Oh well. I'll just make this real quick. Do, 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 do. And play SE. Uh, there we go. And I should be able to just set my route to this event, change graphic to see chest. Oh, uh, wait, no, hang on. To turn up. I know this isn't exactly how they do it by default, but I kind of screw this up and I really don't care. And hit self switch. And there we go. I know I did this wrong with chests, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because normally you would just get those through events anyway, so what difference does it make? Alright, now let's try it out. Alright, so we have the horse still. Alright. Got outfits for derp. Alright. Oh, it's in the key items, that's right. Alright, so. Let's do a gown. Yeah, now he's in his outfit. Try his suit. Suit up. How about his desert wear? Yeah. Now we're ready to not sweat to sweat our balls off in the desert. And let's make him butt naked. Woo! Run around. Okay, that's enough. And just to make sure, put him back in his default outfit. And we're done. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's a very simple concept and... Sorry about that, that was my weather thing that I wish we never had. Anyway, so that's basically the tutorial, and I will see you all in the next video.